You may have heard how if you take a digital photo with a camera and mobile device such as an iPhone or if you manipulate a photo digitally that you're going to leave information about that photo with that photo. It's called EXIF information and every digital photo that we take contains this EXIF information. Now what does this information contain? It can be simple photo things like aperture, shutter speed, exposure, but it also gives me a lot more information such as the time I took the photo, the place I took the photo, whether I've edited the photo. There are literally hundreds of different fields that are collected when I take a digital photo or when I modify a digital photo. Now we can look at that information and we can decide to edit it, we can decide to remove it altogether, or we can use it for different purposes. I myself use EXIF information to geotag photos when I go on vacation or when I take a hike and that way I can view those photos where they exist on a map and I can see the exact location where I took that photo. I can even see the direction I was facing when I took that photo. That's how much information is collected. Let's go take a look. On the App Store, I like the EXI5 Viewer by Fluntro. So if you go there, there's a light version to just start playing around with it. And if you go to the more pro version and pay the fee for it, you get a few more features. I use it quite a bit, so I have the pro version. So on my phone, I have EXIF Viewer. You can see all my recent photos with a brief introduction of some of the things that are being collected, such as shutter speed and my f-stops, but there's so much more. I can do things like star ratings, sensitivity on the ISO, uh, this, you know, things like speed and altitude if I have GPS data enabled. I can look at things like what type of device was used to take this photo, whether it was edited in the past. There's lots of information that I can display and I can take a look at. Now, I can also go in and remove the location, which is a common thing that you might do if you want to share your photo on social media and you don't want people to know the exact location where it was taken. The other thing that you can do is you can go in and you could remove all of the EXIF data. You're just going to remove all of it and it'll actually remove almost all the fields. And the reason I say almost all the fields, some fields will stay persistent. So for example, you can see that it says the date that it was taken and the edited date here on this photo. So that still remains on there. But I can, if I want to, go in and modify that as well. So I can modify specific fields within the metadata. So I can go in here and say, for example, choose the date. And if I choose the date, I can choose a different date that I want to go in. So I'll make this photo occur in the future. This can be useful if I want to maybe take a multi-day trip and I just want to put it all on the last day of the trip or something. You can also change the time so that if I sort by date and time, this will modify it in my photo library. Um, so you'll see that it still shows the edited date in there. So there's there's no getting around that. Well, you, you there are ways of getting around it, but not in this app. So if we go in here, let's go and look at a neat feature where I can also look at my photos on a map. So any of my photos that do have GPS data are considered geotagged. And that means that they have the GPS data with the photo. So now I can go in and you can see this hike that I did across the North Coast Trail on Vancouver Island. And I can actually go right into a specific day and a specific photo. So I can see when this photo was taken. So this is when I woke up and I can share it with or without the EXIF data. A very neat feature that I can also do is I can go into the map view here and I can actually see in underneath the map what direction I was facing when I took the photo. I can then go to the map and I can actually see the location I was sitting at when I took this photo. So now you can see how you can easily go into the photos on your iPhone. You can take a look at those photos, see what information was collected and use it both to remove it before you share it with someone or to modify it so that you can sort it easier in your own photo library or to do things like geotag or ungeotag a photo so that you can place them on a map if you geotag them or so you can share them on social media without worrying about somebody finding the location of where that photo was taken. Thank you so much for watching. If you like technology and how we can use technology to learn and teach better, check out some of the other videos on the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.